you have to sit them down and draw pictures and 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 even still some of the best physicists in the world you know richard feynman probably one of the smartest people who ever walked the earth said if you if a, a physicist claims to understand quantum physics he's lying he's not really a physicist because it's so strange and so hard to get your to wrap your head around it's so different at that level at the quantum realm but then there's people who take that stuff and because it's so hard to understand and so hard to interpret they apply these supernatural things to it they they attach a consciousness or a benevolence or a, or this this sort of caring entity that that loves us and wants to help us and all these things that have roots in quantum physics that don't have roots in the supernatural but they apply these supernatural terms to it and they and they turn it into this one of these other these prosperity gospel things these materialistic if you concentrate and and visualize you can get great wealth just imagine a million dollars imagine it very very hard and using quantum physics it will manifest like schrodinger's cat or they'll use some thing like you know the the fact that the heisenberg's uncertainty principle proves that if you're if you close your eyes the world disappears so therefore you create the universe with your consciousness and they use all this stuff and they apply it and that's what part of these cults the nixium thing that's a little bit of what keith ranieri was trying to impart to people and i think that's why he liked mark vicente because vicente's film took those magical terms, the wishful thinking stuff, and applied it to something that sounds like science. And if you talk about quantum physics, you sound smart. And But then if you apply these things and say, you can use quantum physics to gain wealth and to get success and to feel your value in the world and to, and to be enlightened. And that's dishonest to me.